The first questioner says, what is the ruling on a woman chatting with other women and mahrams without hijab, providing non-mahrams could possibly see her? Now, this is not clear. And this is the problem with a lot of the questions that come to us. What the questioner had in mind is something, and what we understand from it is another thing. Most likely, the questioner is asking about chatting with other women and mahrams over chat apps, such as Skype, Zoom, uh, WhatsApp, or whatever. So video chatting, what's the ruling on that? This is one part. And the other part is, providing non-mahrams could possibly see her. How is that possible? If there is a possibility of non-mahrams seeing her, this would be totally prohibited. If a woman says, can I go to the balcony without wearing a hijab or anything covering my awra? And there are buildings around me, but most likely nobody is watching. What do you mean nobody is watching? Can you tell? Do you know if there's someone behind the curtain with binoculars or with a camera with Zoom, uh, a peeping Tom, trying to take your photo? No, this is not appropriate. There is a possibility and a, a considerable possibility. But on social media uh, uh, platforms such as WhatsApp or Zoom or uh, Skype, the possibility is non-existing Rare, if not non-existing, because nobody hacks and monitors such chats and go out of their way unless they're spying on you. There's, they are spying agencies, and this is very rare. So what is rare and what is not possible, we do not pay attention to it, because it's quite rare. It's like saying, is it permissible to sit in a studio where there's a possibility that the ceiling would fall on your head and you will die. <laughs> if there's a possibility, don't know, it's haram. Nobody says this because this possibility is non-existing. And if it is, it's rare and not to be put in, into consideration. This is unlike what is possible. So a woman says, what's the ruling on going to a wedding? where I put all my adornment and wear a nice uh, night dress or yani, a soiree dress, um, putting my full makeup, wearing my hair, not mine, of course, but, uh, uh, doing this and that. And there are women with mobile phones clicking pictures. I said, this is haram, because definitely they will take your picture. And definitely you will be seen by non-mahrams. Oh, Sheikh, there's so much hardship. Your aura, your chastity, your privacy is more important than this hardship. But on Skype or Zoom or the likes, the possibility is very negligible and Allah Azza wa knows best.